and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to actually set up uh, your email in Suite CRM. So what you want to do is go into the upper right hand corner and choose admin and once you choose that you're going to scroll down and you'll see email settings um, and that is right down here email settings and uh, what you want to do is get uh, the information from your host and provider um, first. So uh, you can configure standard things like from name, uh, from email address, whatever that's going to be. But to put in the things like SMTP server, SMTP authentication, um, what you'll need is information from uh, your host and provider who's providing uh, your email address. So for example, if it's in motion hosting, um, which you see here, uh, you'll see an article, a knowledge base article on the basic email settings that you have to enter, right? Um, there are settings for SSL and non-SSL. Uh, we highly recommend SSL. And um, you can see here um, the settings that you would have to set up. So uh, with that said, um, you know, here's the income and mail server. Uh, and um, you can refer to your documentation here. This tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure email in Suite CRM. Um, it's going to take a section to go to in Suite CRM. You're going to go in the upper right hand corner and choose the drop down till you see admin. Um, and then you're going to scroll down to email settings. Now, there's a couple of things you have to consider with email settings. Um, you have to know what your host and provider settings are. Uh, so if you're hosting with InMotion or Bluehost, in, you have to refer to the documentation on their knowledge base on the setup. Um, each hosting provider has different uh, various settings. Um, as you'll see here, uh, this uh, article here for InMotion hosting actually shows you how to view your email settings in cPanel and in your webmail. And then you get the settings from there and you fill out uh, these forms or these fields here in um, in in your CRM application uh, so the SMTP server is going to be configured here uh, you put your username which is generally your uh, email address you put your password here um, you can also configure the SMTP support uh, whether you're going to use SSL or not of course we recommend SSL um, but you have to refer to the documentation um, of your hosting provider. So this is in motion hosting uh, example. Uh, this is an incoming server of secure and you'll see there's a little number number dot in motion hosting dot com. That's the incoming server. Of course, in your instance, you would have a different number. Uh, for that domain. So that's why you have to refer to your hosting provider. If you can get this information, uh, the incoming and outgoing server, username and password, you should be able to easily enter that here in email settings.